the big find here at HSN. We've got a finishing powder. It's a loose powder. I am a huge fan. Thank I am you. obsessed <laughs> with loose powders. They, they work beautifully. They never settle into lines and wrinkles. You just choose whether you want this in the light tan, the medium deep, or the deep rich. So again, it's a setting powder mm -hmm. that gives you what we call the no photo flashback. Absolutely. So what's that? So a photo flashback, I'm sure we've all had this happen to us, is when you kick in a little too much under here, and then all of a sudden you get that, that camera photo and you look like you got raccoon eyes, right? And no one wants that. You're not gonna get this with this formula. This formula is great because not only is it gonna give you a little bit of a mattifying power, a little bit of a, a great setting powder, but it also is hydrating. We put squalane in here on purpose. The reason we did that was because we didn't want it to feel cakey. We didn't want it to feel drying. Once it's on your skin, yes, we want you to feel set, but we don't want you in any way to feel dry. It, it's not, this is not a mineral powder. Look how light that is. So lightweight, absolutely. Oh, I like that. It's just gonna melt into your skin. It's gonna help set that foundation, but it's not gonna feel cakey at all. That was my big thing. And I it have, doesn't dry out the skin either. Exactly, I have very dry skin, and so I always get nervous with powder. Oh, yeah. But this powder is perfect on me. It does not dry me out. I'm wearing it right now. You can see I still have that luminescence from the skin foundation peeking through. It's not going to give me cake face, but it is setting my makeup. Oh, I love that. And you know what, Amanda, it's so true. So many of us have that cake face, yes. right? We don't want that cake no, face, no. especially, you know, if you've got dehydrated skin in the wintertime. Exactly. I think what's so great about our skin silk powder is it's really just going to be the perfect light layer on top of your foundation. Again, you can um, just lightly buff it in small circles, and it's going to give you that mattifying look without drying you out. Oh, look how pretty. You're right. So it's we're not using drying out. deep. Exactly. Okay. We're using medium deep on Charlotte and it really is just topping her look already. We can show some before and afters here, but it's really just mattifying this side of her face versus this side of her face, which has our beautiful dewy skin by minted foundation stick. So you can see. Now the what difference. color stick did you use on her? So on Charlotte, we used M40. So she's in our medium family. Um, and then she's also using our medium deep loose powder. I'm just gonna have you look at camera four, sweetie pie. So there you go, there you go. So we can see, look how beautiful, wow. Mm -hmm. So wow. see the difference on the one side compared to the other, and we'll just have you look straight right there. There you go. Look how beautiful. Yeah. That is the boss lady glow. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> right. absolutely. And wow. what I love about this formula is again, it is not going to dry you out. I think that's what so many of us are afraid of when we start dealing with loose setting powders. Am I gonna put it on and all of a sudden look you know, dry and patchy, yeah. particularly if you're like me and you already have dry skin. And again, this is not gonna happen for you. The squalane in there is gonna make sure you stay mm -hmm. moisturized. See that? And that's a lot that you're going to receive. Yes. And ladies, I wanna stress, if you've never used a, a loose powder before, I'm a huge fan of it. I don't like pressed powders because I feel like I'm pressing it into a line or wrinkle. Loose powders will always give you a soft focus finish. Yes. What's nice about this is yours is super duper fine. Mm -hmm. I mean really fine. So it gives you almost like a filter finish. So if you are someone right now and you're saying I, I, I've never been a fan of loose powders, I'm telling you they'll be your best friend. I'm obsessed. I love a good loose powder because of just that. It sets everything, but again, you see beautiful skin through it. It's Absolutely. not that pancake look. So you can see there's only 480 of these remaining. So there's three color options. So if you're my skin tone here, you wanna go and do the light tan, there's 100 mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. And then I just used the tool that you gave us yep. in the stick foundation brush. So that's that light medium right next to that. That's the medium deep. And 200 in the medium deep. <laughs> and 150 in that deep rich, which yes. again, you don't see these colors anywhere. That's so true. So I wear medium deep. This is my all over shade. I wear this every single day. And this is actually our number one seller. And I think the reason why is because it's hard to find a loose setting powder with, you know, this much pigment in it. It's true. There are plenty of brands where you can get something approaching this, but this is really hard to find. And this is why it's our number one seller. But every single shade we created to be able to really help you with mattifying and setting your, your, your powder. And and I have to ask now, in our last model over here, what shade are we using, Amanda? Um, so on Iani, we have medium deep as well. And this really just shows you the range of this shade. So if you are just on the other side of that light tan, you'll probably want to use the medium deep. Um, it's just translucent enough to work with a lot of different skin tones. Again, a lot of skin tones, a lot of ethnicities for all occasions. And it's really just going to blend in nicely. Okay, it's first airing, it's brand new, it's minted, <laughs> and they're bringing to us a great collection 